Hi everyone, Matt from Split Dragon here. Uh, this is the second post on uh, how to sell in Lazada Seller Center, uh, where I just kind of walk through the different features uh, that are important to sellers in order to get started um, with their business. Uh, the last time I talked about how to create a product. Uh, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and jump in and show you how to manage your products and edit your products and what are the core flows uh, and experiences that you should normally do. So uh, to do that, you know, in the left-hand side tab, you basically just navigate over into Manage products okay manage products will give you the ability um, to view all the products that you've created historically in your seller center account okay so within this uh, you can see a number of tabs uh, that allow you to filter the various products uh, the most common filters that that should be used are one live okay because this is all the products that are live uh, and appearing within lazada so if a product's live then you can click on it right on the left hand side so the left hand side allows you to quickly jump into the user experience um, so in this case let's go ahead and just click on a couple of them and then i'll go ahead and, and and see what they look like to the customer okay before a customer purchases them so i always advise sellers to have some sort of weekly or bi-weekly cadence of jumping in and going through and clicking all of these and doing some sort of checklist of uh, or action item list of what it is that they need to improve and what looks weird what looks bad um, so that they can fix their issues and get you know a better conversion rate so in this case we can we can look here we see product titles way too short there's no keywords uh, we have no ratings so i mean it's not very easy to get a sale unless you have positive ratings so maybe we should do some sort of tactic tactic in order to get a five-star review or at least just one to get started um, some other factors that matter, you know, obviously the store metrics, you look at positive seller rating, ship on time, chat response rates. Okay. It's difficult to change these immediately, but it, you know, if it's looking not very good, then you, you have to assume that it's going to be impacting your conversion rate and your visibility. As we scroll down, you can see that we have a uh, product bullet points and then product descriptions. Okay. You can modify these. Um, I think, uh, you know, if you're just doing a quick review, you would know that these bullet points are, are not long enough. There's not enough keywords. We talked previously about bullet points um, becoming a valuable factor in search rank. It's definitely indexed uh, by the search engine of Lasada, so you should have keywords here. And then your description is pretty clear. It doesn't say what's in the box. It doesn't say uh, everything that's needed for a consumer uh, to feel comfortable purchasing it. Um, we already talked about product reviews, but Q&As, there's not really any Q&As here. So maybe it makes sense to create a Q&A of your most popular questions because some people uh, just jump straight to the Q&A section rather than reading all of the contents that you have here and here. Um, so that's, you know, kind of the quick overview of, you know, uh, what type of assessment you can do when you go into managed products. And I, I always recommend you do it, you know, at least once a week um, because then you can identify any issues and try to remove them as soon as possible. Um, uh, other important tabs, definitely you want to look at uh, inactive See if there's anything that's recently uh, been made inactive by Lazada um, because these are products that are not selling. So there's usually some sort of issue with them. And what you need to do is you need to go and fix that issue so it gets published again and you're indexed in the search results and you can be found and you can be purchased. Um, another odd, odd topic is sold out. So if, you have, if you're sold out of inventory, um, you definitely want to check this and address it as soon as you can. Um, so it's kind of a pretty quick, valuable way for you to go, go and see your inventory. If you do have more inventory, then you just jump in and you go to edit details. And this will allow you to edit that individual product. You can navigate down to the bottom of the page. Uh, where we are right here and we look at quantity, right? So you just go ahead and you input quantity, update it, and then we're in good shape. Um, what else do we have? So uh, policy evaluations, we already talked touched about it. If you want to do mass exports, right? So you can go and you can do an export by category of your SKUs, and then you get everything into an Excel file. You can modify that X file and mass import it. So I would recommend that if you haven't really structured your product titles in a good way. So you can do that um, pretty quick and efficiently instead of having to go one by one through everything. Um, so I think the 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 biggest workflow for sellers after they've identified some sort of issue is coming here going to manage products and then you click on an individual product so we can go to the live products and we can look at this um and basically what we want to do is we can go and we can click edit details and now we're in the the, the page where we can access all of the attributes 
Okay, Roadbull SKU is the product title, the category. If we want to change the category, we can do it here. If we want to update the long description, we do it here. Video URL, if we want to add the bullet points, we do it here. Um, but this is basically the navigation um, and the most common workflow for updating your product. Okay, um, so that's, I think, it for products. If you have any questions, go ahead and please, please leave a comment in this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please go to splitdragon.com, sign up for a subscription or sign up for a blog. There's a lot of, a lot of great content that will help sellers um, grow their businesses there. Um, and I, I hope you have a great day. Thanks for your time.